Good morning class. Today we are going to deal with area of a triangle textbook pages. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you students will be able to use the formula to calculate the area of a triangle. Here is textbook page 242 students and I am having a right angle triangle in front of me. If you are going to take BC to be the base, then you have to take AC to be the height. Similarly, if you are going to take AC to be the base, then you have to take BC to be the height of this right angle triangle. Here is textbook page 243 students. Again, our uh, triangle is, is in front of me. That is EFG. If you are going to take FG to be the base, then you can't take EF and EG to be the height because as we have read in our previous lesson that base and height must be perpendicular to each other and this is this one line and this one line are not perpendicular so you have to take you have to join e to d and this one perpendicular line will be considered to be the height of this triangle similarly another triangle dpq pq is the base you can't take dq and you can't take dp to be the height what you have to do is you have to extend this PQ towards R and you have to join this R upward to the vertex D. Then this perpendicular line is considered to be the height of this triangle. Similarly, another triangle XYZ. As you can see students, here is a triangle XYZ. And uh, X, T, Z, S and Y, U are the corresponding, are the uh, are perpendiculars to the sides Y, Z, X, Y and X, Z. Here are some filling the blank students. The height of a triangle corresponding to the base X, Y is S, Z. Here is X, Y, this side X, Y and this side is having this straight S, Z to be the height. Similarly, Another one side XZ, this is another one side XZ is having this perpendicular Y, U, no, UY on it. Here is textbook page 244 students. Mrs. Nadeem has a plot of land. Find the area of each triangular plot. You have to find the area of each triangular plot as there are three triangular plots. One is of sunflowers. The second one is for roses and the third one is for hibiscus. Now you have to work for this sunflowers uh, area of a triangle. Okay, students, we have read in our previous lecture that area of triangle is also considered to be half of area of its related rectangle. So if we are going to take this one rectangular area, as you can see, this one rectangular area, 4 meter is considered to be the breadth and 6 meter is considered to be the length of this rectangular area. In order to find the area of a related rectangle, you have to multiply both these things. 4 multiplied by 6, you will get the area of the rectangle is equals to 24 meter squares. And in order to find rectangular area, triangular area, and if you are supposed to find area of a triangle, what you have to do is you have to uh, divide 24 with 2 as area of a triangle is equals to half of the area of its related rectangle half multiplied by 24 the area of a triangle for sunflowers will comes out as 12 meters square here is textbook page 245 again for the hibiscus as you can see students 6 meter and 6 meter the length and breadth are same it means that it is a square in order to find the area of a square 6 multiplied by 6 will gives you 36 meter square and in order to find area what you have to do is divide 36 meters square with 2, you will get your answer for the area of a triangle for hibiscus as well. In case of roses, the complete rectangle you have to take, you can see over here, students, for in case of roses, you have to take this complete rectangular area, having breadth is equal to 10 meter and having length is equal to 6 meter. In order to find the area of a rectangle, multiply both these things, you will find the area of a rectangle and in order to find the area of triangle, what you have to do is divide 60 meter square with 2, as you can see half of the area of its related rectangle, half multiplied by 60 will comes out 30 meter square, the area of a triangle uh, where she wants to plant roses. Here is textbook page 246 students, example number 1, base is given as 14 centimeter, height is given as 3 centimeter. We have read this formula in our previous lecture as well. Half base multiply by height. So multiply 14 with 3 and whatever will be the answer divided with 2, you will get your area as 21 centimeters square. For example, number 2 students, base is given as 4 centimeter, height is given as 5 centimeter. Again, the same one formula, half base multiply by height. 4 multiplied by 5 will comes out 20 divided with 2, you will get your answer for area is equal to 10 centimeters squares. 
Okay, so then say here is example number three. Base is equals to 24 meter. As you can see, this is the base. 24 meter is considered to be the base. Students, we can't take nine meter to be the height as nine meter is not perpendicular to the base. So extend this one and you have to join this to the vertex of this one uh, to the vertex as it is not the naming triangle. So you have to join this dotted line to the vertex as you can see now this is a perpendicular so take this 14 meter to be the height so area is uh, area comes out area is equals to half multiplied by 24 multiplied by 14 solve it at the end you will get your answer as 168 square meter here is textbook page 248 students question number two a part what is given to you okay the base is given as 10 meter and uh, can you take 8 meter to be the height? Yes, you are right. You can't take this 8 meter to be the height because this is not in relation of perpendicular. So you have to take this 3 meter to be the height of this triangle. Uh, now find, you are supposed to find the area of this triangle. Solution, how you can find, you can, see, you can use this one formula. Half base multiplied by height. Go for this one formula. So put the, uh, put the value of base, put the value of height, solve it. You will get your answer at the end as 15 square meter. Here is textbook page 248 students given what is given to you the height is given uh, the base is given as 11 centimeter and height this is the height don't take 7 centimeter as the height as uh, this is given to you for the distraction so take this 9 centimeter as the height so fine you are supposed to find the area area is equals to question mark solution area is equals to half base multiplied by height put this that one formula uh, put the value of base put the value of height solve it 11 multiplied by 9 99 divided with 2 at the end you will get your answer for area as 49.5 square centimeter here is textbook page 248 question number 3 a part given base is given as 8 centimeter we can't take 6, six centimeter as height because it is not in relation of perpendicular so extend this one and uh, join this to the vertex of this triangle so this is 5 cm, take 5 cm to be the height. So find area we have to find solution half base multiplied by height. Put the value base, put the value of height, solve it. You will get your answer for the area as 20 square meter at the end. Here is textbook page 248 students B part the for question number 3 B part. Uh, okay, again the given given 9 meter is the base is given as 9 meter. So and height is given as 7 meter as we have done previously. So find area you have to find solution put the formula half base multiply by height put the values of base base is given as 9 height is given as 7 multiply 9 with 7 63 whatever is the answer divided with 2 you will get your answer for area of this triangle as 31.5 square meter. Here is your homework students please note it down. Thank you.